So there's a few areas left. And then super intelligence becomes when it's better than us at all things. So what's the difference between what we have now and super intelligence? Because it seems to be really intelligent to me when I use like ChatGPT 3.0 or Gemini or... Okay, so it's already, AI is already better than us at a lot of things, in particular areas like chess, for example. AI is so much better than us that people will never beat those things again. Maybe the occasional win, but basically they'll never be comparable again. In terms of the amount of knowledge they have, um, something like GPT-4 knows thousands of times more than you do. There's a few areas in which your knowledge is better than its, and in almost all areas it just knows more than you do. What areas am I better than it? Probably in interviewing CEOs. If you tried, if you got GPT-4 to interview a CEO, probably do a worse job. And if you took a general purpose sort of foundation model, and then you trained it up on not just you, but every every interview you could find doing interviews like this, mm -hmm. but especially you, you would probably get to be quite good at doing your job, but probably not as good as you for a while. So there's a few areas left, and then super intelligence becomes when it's better than us at all things. When it's much smarter than you and at almost all things it's better than you. you. You say that this might be a decade away or so. Yeah, it might be. It might be even closer. Some people think it's even closer. It might well be much further. It might be that somehow training on human data limits you to not being much smarter than humans. My guess is between 10 and 20 years we'll have superintelligence.